Bonjour à tous, hi everyone and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 1, Leçon A. So let's start now and in this first lesson I thought it would be or it might be useful to start with the pronunciation of the vowels okay and after that of course consonant will come but it will be in the, in the next lesson okay so let's see now for the, the vowels how it goes. So the first one is A Okay, A, ah, so not really difficult to pronounce for most of you. Second one is E, uh, repeat, E, uh, okay. Remember that on this vowel we can put some accents, okay, and then it will affect the, the way you will pronounce the E, uh, okay, but if it's like that without any accent and you, you need to spell it or to, uh, to pronounce the letter, it's E. Uh. Okay, uh. Next one is e, e. Then o. Okay, so don't be afraid to put your mouth really round. O, o. Okay, so it's quite deep. O. Okay. Then u, u. So this u can be tricky. So, uh, from my experience of teaching, I've been noticing that, uh, well, in most of the cases uh, for American people, it can be quite tricky at the beginning. So, you really need to insist on that. It's U, U, okay? Spanish speaking persons can have some difficulties as well for that. U, okay? So, don't be afraid to pronounce. So, really, it's not U because in most of the cases, that's the, the mistake people tend to make. They pronounce it like Ooh, okay. Now in that case, it's really ooh, ooh. So really narrow sound ooh. Okay. So don't be afraid to insist on that. And the last one is uh, well, it's y. So if you need to spell it, then you say y. Okay. When you pronounce it, it's like e, e. Okay. But the name of the letter is y. Okay. So if we check them again one more time, this one is. A, then comes E, I, O, U, remember U, and the last one Y for the name, okay, but then the pronunciation is E, alright? That's it, so you can check the next lesson, it will be on YouTube, and then it's according to the, 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 the name, so it will be Unité 1 as well, but then it will be Leçon B, okay? You get the name of the channel here, it's Imagier, okay? And then remember that I've been doing more material and it's uh, available uh, freely, of course, uh, at the following address, www.imagier.net in French, okay? Have a great day! Bonjour à tous, hi everyone and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is uh, Unité 1, Leçon B. So let's see what we'll discover together and in this uh, lesson we'll discover the pronunciation of the consonants, so les consonnes. Are you ready? So let's start now. Okay, so les consonnes, B, B. Okay, so this one shouldn't be that difficult to produce. B, B. Then comes C. Okay, C. D, D. F, F. G, G. Okay, so if we want to repeat them one more time. B. C, D, F, G. Okay, let's see the others. H, H, J, J, K, K, L, L, M, M. Okay, one more time. H, J, 
K L M Okay and then of course it continues N N P P Q Q R R So it's quite important because people tend to think that French people are making this air like that really deep and really uh, well it, it will hurt your uh, throat if we, you try to insist too much on that and if you listen to me well basically it's not that strong air air okay so it's quite soft air air the next one is s s okay so let's see them one more time n P Q R S and the last consonant are T T V V W W Okay, so we've got this double, 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 and then V, double V, okay. X, X, and the last one, Z, Z, okay, so remember to pronounce this D at the end, Z, Z, okay. So let's see them one more time, T, V, W X Z All right, I hope everything was clear for you. So this one this was unité 1 leçon B. So it does mean that you can check and you can try to find uh, on my channel, so uh, Imagier on YouTube. The next lesson it will be leçon C. Okay, so have fun. Merci beaucoup. Remember that it's possible to find more material on the main website, uh, imagier.net. Okay. Bonjour à tous. Hi everyone and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. Uh, this is uh, Unité 1, Leçon C. So what will we discover in this lesson? We'll discover les accents. So the accents and normally when we talk about the accents we tend to insist on the accents which are on the top of the letter e uh, okay because they will change the the pronunciation of the the letter when you put the accents on the top of o e or a uh, well nowadays we don't really pronounce the the the, 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 the differences uh, but then e uh, is still affected by that so you should really really first remember the name of the accent okay and it's normally like that okay and then the sound that you will have to pronounce uh, or to produce when you see it on the top of the uh, okay because so without any accent this letter if you remember we saw that previously is pronounced uh, uh, okay but then when you put this this one so this one is called accent aigu okay it goes like that in that direction okay and you will pronounce the, the the letter like a okay listen to the difference without the accent uh with the accent a okay without uh and with a all right second accent that we can work on it's a little bit the same but it goes in the other direction so if you look it goes like that okay and then it's called accent grave accent grave okay and the sound that you will have to produce is a so it's really open i mean the sound is really open and normally your mouth should be opened a little bit more than with the accent aigu as well okay so it goes like a all right don't don't be afraid to insist a little bit on the pronunciation okay uh, 
uh, first and then you can make it uh, shorter after of course eh, eh. all right so let's compare them the first one is a eh, and then the second one is a eh. all right the good news is that the next one so accent circonflex is pronounced like accent grave okay so it's the same pronunciation here okay and it's the open one okay a eh. really? okay a eh. all right so you can see that it's just like a little hat that you get to put on the top of a uh, okay so let's see one more time the differences this one a eh. okay and then these two accents like here Eh, open eh, okay the last one tréma well basically it's quite rare and the tricky thing is that in some cases you will have to you will have to pronounce it like eh okay like for instance noel okay but then in some cases as well it can be pronounced like e eh, okay so my advice would be try to remember the word and they are really really ra rare so don't don't be don't be afraid about that okay so but that let's focus on the three main accents here okay the first one accent aigu remember a eh. accent grave a eh. and the last one accent circonflex a eh. all right don't worry because even if it looks a bit difficult at the beginning normally normally you will learn them and then for the pronunciation it's not that difficult or that tricky okay so check out for the next lesson and uh, have some fun this lesson was uh, leçon c okay so it should be uh, unité hein? leçon d you can see that they are on my channel and that's the address here Okay, and then more material, of course, on the main website. Okay, have a great Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. So this is Unité 1, Leçon D. So what will we discover in this lesson? So we'll focus on the, les caractères spéciaux. So the special characters that maybe you will have to use if you want to well spell your name or then if you want to uh, give a web address or something like that so because normally they can be quite useful and at the at the really beginning so it, it's quite useful to to uh, spend a little time on them okay so let's start now uh, les caractères spéciaux the first one okay if you look at it it's here okay and we called it Tire. Okay. Tire. All right. Let's see the second one. Same thing, but it's, you know, the low one. So we call it tire ba. Tire ba. Okay. So remember the first one located in the middle is tire, and the other one here is tire ba. Okay. Let's see the, the other one. So officially. We called it arrobas, arrobas, okay? But then, well, let's be honest, we can hear many French people or French-speaking people using this at, okay? Uh, but then the French were, of course, at, all right? Uh, but officially, it should be arrobas, okay? So don't be surprised if someone is using that or then uh, you can use it as well because that's the way it should be. It should be used, so arrobas, okay? Um, here? So the dot, okay, because it's not always easy to, to spot here. Uh, we, we call it point, okay, point, all right. So one more time, tire, tire bas, arrobas, point, okay. And then it continues a little bit. So if you want to indicate that you've got well double a double letter, okay, um, you can say so. In that case, it's b b, okay. So you say de, okay. De, it's two in French. De, okay. P, de p, okay. If it would be another letter, then you would say de, and then the name of the the letter, of course. 
Then this one here is called apostrophe. Okay? Apostrophe. Apostrophe. Okay? And the last one for this lesson. Here you can see that in some cases, so we'll see that a bit later, I mean the reason why, but still you can have this little thing beneath the C, okay? And that's what we call cédille. Cédille. Okay? Cédille. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cédille. Okay? All right, so that's it for this lesson. Okay, I hope it was useful and uh, everything is clear for you. So remember, it's uh, unité 1, leçon D. So the next one is leçon E. Okay, and you can find it there. So don't be shy, don't be afraid to go there. Okay, and then remember, I've been putting more material on the main website. Okay, have a great Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. I'm really happy to see you again. Uh, this is Unité 1, Leçon E. So let's see what we'll discover in this lesson. And we'll discover a quite important thing, uh, because uh, it's a verb, and uh, it's the verb être. Okay, être means to be. Okay, so as in many, many languages, the to be is quite useful, uh, just for... Um, well, simple reason, you tend to use it quite often, and then we can use it to construct some composed tenses that we'll see a bit later, okay? So, let's see how it goes at the present form. Le verbe être, first, is Je suis. Je suis, okay? Je, it's the pronoun personnel, so it's I, okay? Suis. I am, okay? Je suis, all right? Then second person, tu es, okay? So remember, être is really tricky, especially when it comes to pronunciations, okay? So first one, suis, as you've been noticing, you don't pronounce the final S, okay? And for tu, then you've got this combination of letters, okay? But then, basically, the sound you will pronounce or you will produce is a okay tu es all right je suis tu es okay so let's see the next one so you get this il okay so it's a capital letter but then it's still it's i and then l okay il so it's he okay masculine form and then l she so feminine form okay and this is the verb so il est or then elle est so you can notice that even if we write them differently this a like that and a like that we, pr we pronounce them the the same way and that's usually the difficult thing you know with a uh, french language uh, what you write and what you pronounce can be quite different okay so remember je suis, tu es, il est, elle est. Okay, so let's see how the next one comes. Here it's nous, nous, okay. Ah, sorry about that. Oops. <laughs> nous sommes, okay. Nous some okay so you don't pronounce the final s here it doesn't exist some nous some okay then <laughs> the next one is coming vous êtes same thing here notice that final s is not pronounced et et okay and then in french we tend to have this Liaison, so liaison, it's like a link, okay, that we can make between the words. So in that case, vous is ending with s, and then you tend to make a little link between them. So vous êtes, z, it goes like that, vous êtes, okay, vous êtes, vous êtes. All right, so let's see one more time. Je suis, tu es, il est, elle est. 
nous sommes, vous êtes, ok, let's see, the last one, il, ok, so you can notice that even if you've got this s at the end, and then here you don't have anything, well you pronounce them the same way, ok, il, singular form, il, plural form, ok, il, son, final t not pronounced, il, son, elle, son, ok, il, son, elle, son, so let's see it again, je suis, tu es, il est, elle est, nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont, elles sont, all right, one more thing to notice because it's quite important this vous form okay can be used for the plural of course and then it's the polite form that we use uh, if you meet someone for the first time uh, let's say it's uh, it's someone that you are uh, connected to uh, professionally or uh, it's well someone important or so then well in that case or then you don't know this person uh, you should use definitely this vous okay uh, for the first time it's the polite form after that you can decide whether you want to use this to form okay which is normally quite common in French but then first remember that vous is better okay let's see a few examples now okay first I've been no writing this uh, this question so quelle est votre nationalité okay so here to show you that it's here quelle means what is votre your so it's uh, according to to this vous okay so the polite form of your and then nationalité nationality okay so let's repeat the question quelle est votre nationalité all right and in French we tend to raise the voice at the end when we've got this little point d'interrogation if it's a question don't be afraid to go like Yoop! and raise a little bit at the end, okay? So, quelle est votre nationalité? Okay? Quelle est votre nationalité? So, if you want to present or to say uh, where you're from, okay? So, we're using this être for that, you know? Je suis, okay? So, you've got here it already. And then you put this français, français, okay? It's French. Je suis Français. Je suis français. Okay. Then another example. Quel est votre nom de famille? Famille, family, nom, name. So nom de famille, family name, last name if you want. Okay. Quel, it's still what. Okay, in that case it's written like that, so we will see that in a coming lesson, but just to inform you, that's the masculine form, just because non is masculine, and here you've got the feminine form, because nationalité is feminine, okay, but then we pronounce them the same way, so quel est, what is, votre, your, nom de famille, so family name or last name, okay, it's a question, Quel est votre nom de famille? Okay, so it's not the opera or uh, something that you want to sing. Okay, so just raise a little bit your voice at the at the end of the the question. Okay, so the answer c'est le François. So it's interesting because you can see that we've got this c'est here and it doesn't show in the the. The, the, the examples that we saw previously or for the, the, the conjugation just because it's so well basically you can tr you could translate it like it is or this is or yeah it is okay c'est le François okay and the last one quelle est sa profession okay quelle est sa profession what is so être hein, same ça so it's her profession profession okay elle est directrice elle est directrice okay so she's a director and then it's the feminine form here 
all right okay so i hope it was clear for you uh, remember that this was uh, unité 1 leçon e so the next lesson should be leçon f okay and then you can find it here on the channel in youtube and then of course more material on the main website imagier.net okay have a great Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. Unité 1, leçon F. So let's discover together what we'll see in this lesson. So the last lesson was uh, introduction of uh, le verbe être, okay, and I thought it, it would be more logical to uh, continue with uh, le verbe avoir. So avoir means to have, okay, and for the same reason as uh, to be, okay, it's, uh, it's really useful and really used. So you should definitely know this uh, verb avoir by heart if you want to master uh, French language, okay. So let's see that, le verbe avoir, okay. And so we'll see the different uh, forms. So the first one is j'ai. Okay, j'ai. All right. So if you remember correctly, we had this je personal pronoun, and then when it comes near another vowel like a, for instance, then it tends to disappear. Okay, so just to avoid pronouncing this je because we think that in French it doesn't sound doesn't sound that beautiful, so we tend to take this e uh away. Okay, so that you get this sound j j. Okay, so j apostrophe a i. Remember when you combine this a i, you get the e sound. Okay, second one tu Ah, okay. As usual in French, final S is not pronounced. Tu, ah. Tu, ah. Okay, first one. J'ai, tu, ah. Then comes il, so masculine form, he, okay. Il, he, elle, she, okay. And then ah. So as you can notice, second form RS is pronounced A, and this is A. Same pronunciation in both cases. Okay? Then, nous avons, final S not pronounced, avons. Okay? And then we tend to make this little link, as I said previously in the lesson uh, uh, for uh, être you make this link between the two so nous avons nous avons okay nous avons nous avons that's it next one same thing the little liaison little link between the two okay vous avez vous avez all right and the last one so same thing if you can see you get this final s and final s here okay and then you will have to make the little link between the two ils ont ils ont ils ont okay and then feminine form elles ont elles ont all right let's see the whole thing one more time j'ai Tu as, il a, elle a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, elles ont. Okay, so let's see now, just to make it more clear, remember, so I in French is je, you, it's tu, he, Il, she, elle, we, nous, you, so as in English, first use for the plural, a group of person, okay, and then second use the polite form for you, one person, okay, vous, il, 
elle. One last time. Je, tu, il, elle, nous, vous, il, elle. That's it for this lesson. Um, so it was a lesson. Leçon F. Oui, oui, oui. Leçon F. So it does mean that the next lesson is Leçon G. You can find it there. Okay. On the channel. Imagier channel of YouTube. Okay. And remember that I've got a main website and it's called Imagier.net. So you can go there. Bonjour à tous, hi everyone and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. Uh, this is Unité 1, Leçon G. So what will we discover in this lesson? We'll discover le verbe aller. So the verb aller, aller means to go. So it's really useful because, well, we tend to use it like that. So for the main to go reason uh, quite often and we we'll use it as also like in many languages uh, for what we call the future proche so the near future I am going to and then you put a verb at the infinitive uh, so it is it is quite quite used especially in the oral language we tend to maybe use it a little bit more than the, the real future okay so let's see how you conjugate this aller verb The first form is je vais. Okay, so remember final s not pronounced here. Je vais. Okay, when you combine this a e, you get the sound a really open. Okay, je vais. D'accord. Tu vas. Final s doesn't exist. Tu vas. Tu vas. Okay. Then we've got this. Il, so remember, il, uh, it's for the, the, the masculine form, so he, okay, and then elle, she, okay, and then you get the va form, basically you pronounce it like for the tu, because you don't pronounce the final s, okay, il va, elle va, okay, je vais, tu vas, il va, elle va. Then, nous, so we, plural form, nous allons, okay, and if you, so final S not pronounced, and then if you are purist, and I'm sure you are, you want to make this beautiful and little liaison, so this little link between the words, so it does mean that you will have to pronounce this zzz uh, sound, okay, listen to me, nous allons, nous allons. Okay, nous allons. That's it. Same thing here. We'll have this little link between the two. Vous allez. Vous allez. And the last one. So remember, here you've got this S just to make the difference between the singular and the plural. Because when you put the plural form normally, you tend to add S at the end of the words. Okay, like here. But then you don't pronounce it. So... Ils vont, final day, not pronounced. Ils vont, and then feminine form, elles vont. All right, let's see everything again. Je vais, tu vas, il va, elle va, nous allons, vous allez. Ils vont, elles vont. All right? And then, just a few examples, just to show you how uh, useful this uh, aller verb can be, because we tend to use this uh, aller verb when you want to ask uh, if someone is uh, doing fine, okay? Uh, so the first question, how do you do in French is comment, so how, comment, allez-vous? And then, same thing here, little link between the two. Comment allez-vous? Comment allez-vous? All right. So I've been putting this vous form here for the first example, just to show you that if you meet someone for the first time, then it's, well, it's better to use this vous. So here, the vous form, so because it's the polite form. Okay, comment allez-vous? 
okay it's a question so raise a little bit your voice at the end like comment allez-vous okay you see comment allez-vous all right so answer when you want to say i'm doing fine okay je vais bien and then you say merci thank you je vais bien merci so now if you know the person okay you get two options i mean normally that's the most used one the first one would be comment vas-tu okay so in that case you just switch and you change this you so polite form and you change it with this tu form comment vas-tu okay well answer can be the same you know je vais bien merci okay and the other one comment ça va okay it, it it would be like impersonal form okay so you're not really addressing uh, directly to the person uh, how is it going could be translated uh, could be translated like that in, in in english okay comment ça va okay you raise a little bit at the end comment ça va and then same thing you can answer with ça va merci okay so let's read them comment allez-vous je vais bien merci comment vas-tu je vais bien merci comment ça va ça va merci okay that's it so remember it's a leçon g it does mean that you can find leçon h right here okay and then more thing on the web uh, site imagier.net okay have a great Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité, un leçon H. Okay, so let's see what we'll discover together in this lesson. And we'll discover le verbe s'appeler. So, uh, previously we've been seeing uh, three verbs. So the first one was uh, être, to be, yeah. And then after that it was avoir, to have. And then in the last uh, last or previous lesson it was uh, aller to go and I thought it would be useful to introduce this sapler verb because normally that's the, the, the verb you tend to uh, use uh, at the right beginning when you want to introduce yourself because if you say my name is uh, well in French we will use this sapler verb okay it is always tricky and a big challenge for a french teacher uh, to introduce this sapley verb at the real beginning because um, it belongs to this group of verbs that we call uh, 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 verb pronomino so you'll see why because if you compare it to the others something is coming there okay so if you remember when we conjugate uh, a verb, first we put the pronoun personnel, so the personal pronoun here. So, je is like uh, I, okay? And then, so basically the verb appeler, appeler means to call, okay? So without this S, okay? Appeler is to call, okay? And then when you had this S here, and then if you transform it like in this form, I call and this is a pronoun it's like me so it's like I call myself I call me so it's just the way we've got in French to introduce ourselves okay so it's je m'appelle okay je m'appelle all right second form tu t'appelles okay remember final s not pronounced tu t'appelles Okay, then il s'appelle. Il s'appelle. Elle s'appelle. Elle s'appelle. And then the funny thing for nous or vous, you'll see that, well, basically we repeat it or repeat, it's just a pronoun. So we call ourselves if you want okay but then we put the pronouns before the, the the verb okay nous nous appelons and then little link would be perfect so let's pronounce the whole thing again nous nous appelons nous nous appelons okay final s doesn't exist nous nous appelons okay then 
vous vous appelez. Vous vous appelez. Okay, so you can hear, we put the little link again here. Vous vous appelez. All right. And the last one. Il s'appelle. Elle s'appelle. Okay, so one thing that you should remember and probably you did here. Okay, so here for nous and vous. So we've got only one L like here in the infinitive form. So that's the reason why I've been pronouncing appelons. Okay, and then appeler. All right, but for je, so if you can spot it here, look, we've got double L here, double L, double L, and then for the plural form, double L. So when you get this a vowel, and then you get a double consonant, and well, they are the same, then it does change the pronunciation of a. Uh, you tend to pronounce it like a, eh, a, eh, really open. That's the reason why you pronounce it. Appel, appel, okay? Appel, 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 and appel. All right. So as I said, that's the tricky thing with French language. I mean, you write them like here, without s, here, with s, and here with e n t n t. You pronounce them the same way. Je m'appelle, tu t'appelles, il elle s'appelle, il elle s'appelle. Okay. All right. And now, a few examples. Comment vous vous appelez? Okay. So, comment vous vous appelez? So, when you want to know the, the, the name of someone, you know. Comment vous vous appelez? Answer. Je m'appelle Vincent. Et vous? Okay. So, I am Vincent. I call myself <laughs> Vincent, if you want. Vincent. Et vous? And you, okay, so you want to know the name of the, the person who is asking this question, okay. Uh, the other possibility that you would have, you know, so first you've been starting with comment and then vous vous appelez, okay, so that's the, well, a common way of asking the, the, the question, all right. Other possibility would be to start with vous vous appelez, okay, so technically you just take the verb and then you put this Comment, how, at the end. Okay, it would be possible as well. Okay, remember to raise your voice. Vous vous appelez comment? All right. And the last one is the more correct form. Okay, so first you should start with comment, how. And then, as in many languages, you should, well, change a little bit the order of the structure of the sentence. Okay, vous appelez vous okay that's the real correct way to ask the name of someone you know comment vous appelez-vous all right and you, then you raise your voice comment vous appelez-vous all right so let's repeat them comment vous vous appelez vous vous appelez comment comment vous appelez-vous all right that's it so remember it was a leçon H. It does mean that you can find the uh, leçon I on the channel. It's here and it's on YouTube and well, the main site imagier.net is here and then you can find uh, more material there. Okay. Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité 1, leçon I. Okay, so let's see what we'll discover together, and together we'll discover in this lesson pour se présenter, so if you want to present yourself, okay, so it will be a really short lesson, but still quite useful, because, well, technically you will have to present yourself at one point when you speak with French people or French-speaking people, okay, so let's discover how it goes. The first one, well, I tend to use this appelé verb okay je m'appelle Vincent Lefrançois okay je m'appelle Vincent Lefrançois so you use this s'appeler verb 
So uh, I did introduce this verb in the previous lesson. So it was uh, le son H. Okay. So if you didn't see this lesson, I uh, definitely invite you uh, to 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 watch it because uh, I tend to explain the reason why you know I've got this. Well, there is this je m'appelle form. Okay. So je m'appelle Vincent Lefrançois. So that's the first possibility you will have. Uh, the other possibility is to use this être. So to be verb je suis i am je suis vincent le françois okay so the first one je m'appelle so basically s'appeler or je m'appelle you could translate it directly but well it's not really interesting but still you know i call myself okay so that's the verb we tend to use when we introduce ourselves je m'appelle vincent le françois okay and then the second one i am je suis Vincent Le François, and the last option we will have is mon nom, my name, mon nom est is Vincent Le François. Okay. First option, je m'appelle Vincent Le François. Second, je suis Vincent Le François. Last one, mon nom est Vincent Le François. Of course, the first one is the most used. Okay, even if the verb is a bit tricky at the beginning, definitely you should work on it and uh, you should, well, master this uh, sapli verb because that's the one we will use when we introduce ourselves. Okay, so I hope it was clear. Have a great day. Remember that uh, the next lesson, Leçon J, uh, is online and you can find it here. Okay, and then I've been making more material and it can be, they can be found here on imagier.net. Okay, have a great day. Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité 1, Leçon J. So, what will we discover in this lesson? We'll discover les articles définis, so definite articles. Uh, in English, it would be the, okay, but in French, of course, as usual, we've got the difference between the masculine form, the feminine form, and the plural form, okay? And we start with the masculine form, so we've got le, le, okay, and then in some cases this vowel e, uh, if it's close to other vowels, so if there is a word after that starting with a vowel, in some cases it, it will have to disappear, okay, so you will get this l apostrophe, so that's the reason I've been writing it here, okay, but then the main form is le, okay, then la, feminine form, la, same for the same reason, you know, you will have this option L apostrophe as well. And then the plural form is LE. Okay, so whereas in, whereas in English you get only, there is only this THE form in French, we will have the difference between the masculine form LE, the feminine form LA, and then the plural form LE. So, of course, according to the word, you will have to choose the correct article. So we'll take a few examples here. The first one is chien. Chien is a dog. And in French, chien, like that. It's masculine, so le chien. So basically, you just put the article le and then chien. Okay? In that case, second case, ordinateur. Well, you can see that it starts with the vowel O. Okay? And as I said, you know, E uh and O, they don't get along that well. So you've got to take this away and then you get this l'ordinateur l'ordinateur all right and third example so i took on purpose this hotel okay because it starts with h but remember that in french we don't pronounce h okay so basically the first sound of the word is the vowel o okay so for the same reason e uh, needs to disappear L'hôtel. Okay, so we re if we repeat them, le chien, l'ordinateur, and then l'hôtel. Okay, feminine form, la famille. Okay, so no problem. So family, la famille. Okay, then we've got argent, money, argent. Same for the same reason. So uh, uh, l'argent. 
Okay, you get to take this all the way. L'argent. And same thing as previously when what we saw for the, the masculine part. Even if you've got this H, then the first sound you hear is A. Ah, okay, so for the same reason you will have to take this A ah away. And then you get this L'habitation. L'habitation. Okay, and then I've been taking, well, basically the example from here. Chien. Okay, and then I put S at the end. And it's the mark of the plural, okay? So you put les chiens, the dogs, okay? Les chiens. And then you take famille, family, okay? Just add this final S and you get the plural form. Les familles, okay? Remember, chien, singular form, chien, same pronunciation, but you put this S, okay? Final S, not pronounced. Famille, singular form, famille, plural form, same pronunciation, S, not pronounced. Okay? I hope it was clear. So it's uh, leçon J. It does mean that you can find the leçon K right here. Okay? And then more stuff there. Imagier.net. Have a Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. And this is Unité 1, Leçon K. Okay, so let's see what we'll discover in this lesson together. We'll discover les articles indéfinis. So, indefinite articles. So, any, um, in English, uh, there is only one, and it's a uh, or un. Okay, and in French, we've got always the difference between the masculine form the feminine form and the plural form as we saw in the previous lesson remember for the uh, definite articles okay it was the same okay and in this lesson so article indéfini well it's the same we'll start with the masculine form and the masculine form goes like that so when you put these two letters together it can be quite tricky to pronounce at the beginning of course after that you will master it without any problem and without any doubt but you've got to pronounce it like un. so it's uh, what we call the nasal so it goes in your nose okay un. so if you listen to me you don't hear any n okay so it's just a combination of the two un. 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 all right okay so that's the masculine form then the feminine article is here and it's easier because if you you have this u n e then you pronounce it un un okay masculine un feminine form un un okay and then the plural form de all right here a s you pronounce it you pronounce it like a e, okay un un de all right let's see few examples now okay here ami means friend okay un ami and then we tend to make this little little link between the two un ami un ami okay soleil sun un soleil un soleil livre book un livre un livre voiture car feminine une voiture une voiture école school feminine form as well une école une école décision une décision une décision don't ask me to translate this décision come on please ami so i've been taking this now look ami here so we've got the masculine form and it's the singular remember if you want to put the plural form then you just add this final s here okay but then technically you pronounce it the same way so singular form ami plural form you add this s but it's ami as well okay in that case you get de so here de okay here and then there is this little liaison remember it's been introduced in a previous lesson you put this little link between the word des amis des amis 
Okay, I've been taking wa voiture here, voiture a car, okay, just add this S at the end and then you get the plural form, des voitures. Okay, and then I've been taking back this livre, same thing, you just add S at the end, des livres. Okay, let's repeat them one more time. Un, une, des. Un ami, un soleil, un livre. Une voiture, une école, une décision, des amis, des voitures, des livres. All right, I hope it was clear. So it was leçon 4, uh, sorry, leçon K, okay, it does mean that the next one is leçon L and you can find the next lesson and also the previous lessons if you didn't see them on this channel of YouTube, youtube.com, and then Imagier, okay, and then the main website that I've been doing, you can find more material, PDF files, uh, applications, whatever, and it's uh, imagier.net. Uh, Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent, this is Unité 1, Leçon L, and in this lesson we'll discover together l'article interrogatif, so it's really useful, and we'll see that now. So, l'article interrogatif, here you get the masculine form, and it's quel, quel means what, okay, so that's what you'll use when you want to ask a, a question with what, okay, and you've got a good example here, so quel est votre nom de famille what is votre your, so the polite form of your, nom de famille, family name, last name, okay? Quel est votre nom de famille? What is your last name? Second example, quel est votre prénom? Prénom is first name. What is votre, the polite form for your? Quel est votre prénom? What is your first name? Okay, so you can see now, more in detail, that nom, prénom are masculine words. And that's the reason why, in that case, you get to choose the article here, according to the gender of the word it is connected to. Quel, masculine form, because nom is masculine. Quel, masculine form, because prénom is masculine. Okay, let's see now the feminine. And the good news is that, as usual in French, we write the thing differently, but then we can pronounce them the same way. And then the feminine form is written like that, Q-U-E-L-L-E, -E, but it's pronounced like the masculine form. Quel at the masculine, quel at the feminine. Okay, so it's basically same pronunciation. Okay, and then here we've got two examples. So, for the same reason as previously, we had this nom and then prénom, they were masculine words, so you would ha you will have to, to put this quel form at the masculine. And then here, nationalité and adresse, so nationality, address, are feminine words, so it does mean that you will have to use this article interrogatif, quel, at the feminine form. Quel est, what is, votre, your, nationalité. What is your nationality? Quelle est votre nationalité? Okay. Quelle est votre adresse? What is your address? Okay. So, let's repeat them. Quel est votre nom de famille? Quel est votre prénom? Quelle est votre nationalité? Quelle est votre adresse? Okay. So, remember one thing for the phonetics, okay, the way to pronounce them. Quel, masculine form here, will be pronounced exactly as the feminine form here. Quel. So, only one sound, okay. And then, the second thing that you've got to remember, of course, you can, well, basically record these articles with the word they are connected to, so it does mean that if the word is at the plural form, then you will have to put the plural form. Uh, the rule in French, if you remember correctly from the 
previous lessons we've been lessons we've been doing uh, is to put this final s at the end of the words to put the plural okay so quel here for the masculine singular will become quel here masculine plural okay quel here feminine singular will become quel with the s feminine plural and the good news is that you will pronounce them the same way all right so quel 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 and quel okay remember that in some cases of course you will have to make this little liaison you know this little link between the words so if the word or the verb or whatever is coming after is starting with the vowel of course you will have to put the this little link but then if you pronounce it or if you pronounce them just like that quel 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 okay that's it so it was leçon l okay it does mean that the next lesson is leçon m and you can find this lesson or the previous lessons on the channel that you can see here on youtube okay and then the main website imagier.net it's here you can find many many things okay have a great Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité 1, Leçon M. So what are we going to discover together? We are going to discover together les jours et les mois. So the days and the month. Okay? Les jours et les mois. So let's see that together. And so we'll start with les jours de la semaine. Okay, semaine is week. Les jours, so you can see that it's the plural form. Huh? The days. Huh? Les jours of the la semaine. Les jours de la semaine, the days of the week. Okay, so we'll start with the first one. And in France, uh, the week starts with lundi, Monday, lundi, lundi, okay, remember, UN is pronounced like un, lundi, 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 then mardi, mardi, so you can hear that you don't pronounce it that strongly, this R, huh? Mardi, mardi, okay? You don't need to go too deep like mardi, no, no, no. You don't move your tongue so it, does, it doesn't sound like mardi, no. It's really soft, mardi, 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 okay? The next one is mercredi, mercredi, Wednesday, mercredi, mercredi, okay? Next one, jeudi. Jeudi. Remember when you combine this E, U, you get the sound E. Jeudi. Jeudi. So I insist a little bit, so make it softer. Jeudi. Jeudi. Then E, N, nasal, and it's en. En. So remember. Vendredi. 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 Okay? Then. Samedi, samedi, don't insist on the uh, samedi, samedi, all right? And the last one, dimanche, dimanche, you get the sh, 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 and then a, n, an, an, dimanche, okay? Let's see them one more time. Lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, Vendredi, samedi, dimanche. Normally, in France, we tend to use this le weekend. So, if we're talking about the weekend, okay, but then pronounce it the French way weekend. Le weekend, okay. But then in uh, other uh, French speaking uh, countries, they, they tend to use this la fin de semaine. La fin de semaine, okay. But then in most of the cases, if you talk with French people, it will be le weekend. Le weekend. 
If you want to talk about les mois de l'année, okay, année, year, mois, month, okay, les mois de l'année. So we'll see now the first one, the first one, January. So it looks, well, it looks a bit the same. No, no, wow, well, no. But anyway, anyway, janvier. So that's the way to pronounce it. Janvier, a n an. Okay, and then ye, ye, ye. Janvier. Then comes février, février. Okay, remember when you have this accent aigu on the top of e, uh, then you pronounce it e. Okay, there is a lesson regarding this topic, so uh, don't be afraid. And if you're not sure about that, well, try to practice it. Février, février. Okay, then. Mars. Okay, so in a way it's an exception because normally final S is not pronounced in French. Okay, we've got some exceptions and this one is one of them. So Mars, pronounce the final S. Mars, Mars. Okay, then Avril, Avril, Avril. Nothing really tricky about this month, so I mean for the pronunciation. Avril. Okay, here be careful because people tend to try to pronounce it to, to pronounce it the, 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 the English way in French remember when you combine this a ah and then e vowels you get the sound a eh, a eh. so really open a eh, okay and then you pronounce it me me okay so don't pronounce e uh, in, don't try to pronounce it no it's me me so it's not my it's me Okay, and then here, well, it's a bit tricky, but still, en goes like un, un, okay, and then you get ju, juin, 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 okay, let's see them one more time. Janvier, février, mars, avril, mai, juin, okay, second round. Juillet. Okay, you get this double L here. Y -y -y -y. Juillet. Juillet. Don't pronounce this final T. E T here at the end. E. Juillet. Juillet. So it's July. And then here, two options because, uh, well, two options are acceptable in French. The first one, you don't pronounce the final T. Ou. 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 Second one, you pronounce it. Oot. 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 Alright, so remember, first option, don't pronounce it. Ou. 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 Second option, you pronounce it. Oot. 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 Okay? Then, well, it's, it's quite simple normally for uh, English speaking persons, or then. It's quite close to uh, other uh, languages as well. So, septembre, septembre, septembre. Remember this E M en septembre. Br, br. You don't insist on the final E. Uh, septembre, septembre. Then, same thing here. Don't insist on the final E. Uh, octobre, octobre, octobre. Novembre, 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 ok, E-M, en, en, novembre, novembre, and the last one, décembre, 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 same thing, E-M, en, décembre, ok, so let's repeat them, juillet, remember this, ye, 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 juillet, ou, first option, août, second option, Septembre, octobre, novembre, décembre. Okay? The little gift. L'hiver, l'hiver, and it means winter. So I've been putting this M here just to tell you that it's masculine. L'hiver, le printemps. Le printemps, spring, l'été, l'été, summer, so 
Well, I forgot to put it, but here I should put M because it's masculine. L'été. L'automne. L'automne. And same thing here. It should be M. Automne. Masculine. L'automne. Okay, so let's repeat it. L'hiver. Le printemps. L'été. L'automne. And then, the last thing for this lesson, if you want to introduce the, the dates, okay, so if you want to tell what day it is uh, today, so, aujourd'hui means today, aujourd'hui, today, nous sommes, so we use the verb to be, okay, we are, nous sommes, le 8 juin 2012. Okay, so forget for the 2012, don't be afraid. We'll see that a bit later for the numbers. Okay, aujourd'hui, today, nous sommes, we are, le, you put the article, definite article, okay, and then you put the, the date here. Okay, you start with the, the number, the month, and then the year. Okay, or then, second option, aujourd'hui, so it doesn't change, it's here, today, c'est, it is, this is, and then you put the date, le 8 juin 2012. Okay? That's it. This is leçon M. It does mean that the next one is leçon N, and you can find it at the following address here, or then you can go as well at this address, imagier.net, just to find more material. Have a great day. Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité 1, Leçon N. And we'll discover in this lesson, le masculin et le féminin. So let's see how we will modify some words that are masculine into a feminine form here. Because for instance, we're talking about, well, whether professions or occupations. Here, student assistant, actor, dancer, baker, and then computer scientist. It looks quite, quite nice in English. Informaticien is nice, but still in English. Computer scientist, it's, it's, it's really interesting. Okay, so uh, the rule in French is to add a at the end of a word, to put the feminine form, okay? So for instance, here we've got étudiant, and then we've got assistant here, okay? You just take it back here, étudiant, and then you will add this E uh, at the end without modifying the first part, okay? So it will, of course, change a little bit the pronunciation because you will pronounce it at the masculine form. Il est étudiant, okay? A -N -T étudiant, okay, but then for the feminine form, elle est étudiante, okay, t, 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 okay, you don't really insist on the e, but you insist quite much on the t, elle est étudiante, il est assistant, so don't pronounce the final t here, but for the feminine form, elle est assistante, okay, Étudiant, étudiante, assistant, assistante. All right. Then we've got now the tricky ones. Il est acteur. Okay, so it's one of the irregular ones. E U R here, acteur, and it, would, it will become ris. So E U R is becoming ris. Elle est actrice. So, acteur is becoming actrice. Okay? And then we've got a second group with this e -U -R combination. Il est danseur. E -U -R is becoming euse. Danseuse. Okay? Danseur, masculine. Danseuse. Feminine form. Il est danseur. Elle est danseuse. Okay? Then we've got this group. 
like boulanger, boulanger, a r. So if you add this final e at the end, then you will have to put this accent here, accent grave. Remember when you get this e plus this accent grave, you pronounce it like a e, really open a e sound. Okay, so boulanger, boulanger, and then feminine form boulangère, boulangère. Same thing, don't insist too much on the final e, boulangère. Okay, il est boulanger, elle est boulangère. All right, and the last group is i e n. Informaticien, yin, yin, yin. So that's the way to pronounce this i e n, yin, yin. Okay, informaticien. All right. And then, if you look carefully, then here, okay, you will have to double the n, and then add this final e. Okay, and you get the sound informaticien, sien. Remember e. And then double N, or then it could be double L, or double uh, consonant here. You open your E, so it's E. Informaticien. Okay? So I tend to insist a little bit, okay? <laughs> Don't worry, I will pronounce it a bit more normally after. Il est informaticien. Elle est informaticienne. Okay, so let's see them one more time. Il est étudiant. Elle est étudiante. Il est assistant. Elle est assistante. Il est acteur. Elle est actrice. Il est danseur. Elle est danseuse. Il est boulanger. Elle est boulangère. Il est informaticien. Elle est informaticienne. Okay, that's it. So, this is uh, unit one, and if my memory is correct, it should be the last uh, lesson of the unit one. Then you will have to jump to unit two. Okay? And then you will be able to find all the lessons there. YouTube.com slash Imagier, or then remember the main website imagier.net you can find well quite many uh, material pdf files applications pictures flashcards whatever you want okay have a